Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed that intro. It took me a while to get it quite right. Today I am planning from the 19th of August to the 25th using this beautiful mockery. And I absolutely love the washi and the colours are really, really lovely. I love most of mockery stuff. And going through the things that I want to pull in as well. Lots of functional stuff. As you saw in my intro, the stores that I'm using in this plan with me were in the intro, but if you skipped through that, then I've got stuff from Claire Bear Prince, Mockery, Marshmallow Studios, That Planner Girl, Stella Bow, Sticker Co, Doodles Do, Claire Bear Prince, Hamilton Print Go, Sticker Thief, Wednesday Planning, Jessica Kate Planning, Ohana Story, Sinister Designs, etc, etc. And as always, I have codes for my things that I'm involved with PR-wise, so codes will be linked down below. And yeah, I really, really liked how this spread came out. Very bright and colourful. We finished watching Stranger Things a couple of weeks ago, but because I was doing another nerdy month in celebration of Dylan's birthday, I thought I would use the Stranger Things kit now even though we, as I said, we finished watching it a while ago. But I really enjoyed it. As I've said on my channel before, I'm such a scaredy cat. And the first season was scary. And then from there, it wasn't as bad, which was good. And yeah, it was really fun to watch. If you guys have watched my last Plan With Me video, I talked a little bit about mental health. And I'm very grateful to be coming out the other side. I haven't been exercising as much as I would like, but Dylan and I did take the dogs for a walk yesterday and that was really nice. We got lost in the lost in the forest kind of thing. There's a a nature reserve kind of near where we live and we let the dogs off and we kind of followed a couple of different tracks and got lost for about half an hour, which was really nice to, you know, just have some couple time. He's really stepped up in the last couple of days, which has been lovely. You know, when you're down, everything's the worst and, you know, you second guess everything. So, like, I hadn't been feeling great in myself and hadn't been feeling great in our relationship. But I'm glad that that's now coming out of it and I love him more than ever kind of thing. Um, one of the new board games we have is called... The Great Dinosaur Rush and oh my gosh that was so much fun. We played it yesterday, only two people and you have like different coloured bones and you've got to create a dinosaur and the bones represent like whether they're their ribs or their neck or their tails. Oh, it's so much fun. If you guys have any board game recommendations or you'd like to hear me talk more about board games, let me know. I've been thinking about maybe doing like a five favourites for the month where you guys will see me chat about like what I've been loving this month and, and stuff like that. But, you know, let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. I'm not going to do it if no one's keen on it. And same with the Hobo Nietzsche Plan With Me's. I've got a few kits that I'd really like to use, but I know most of you guys are used to me planning in my EC. But if you'd like to see more of the Hobo Plan With Me's, let me know. So for this plan with me spread, I really wanted to use these Jessica Kate planning depression trackers um, just because the last couple of weeks I have been feeling down and I just want to make sure that I am coming out of it. And as you can see, I placed the boxes willy nilly like there was no real rhyme or reason. And my dad's birthday is on the 23rd. So I do change around the location of where that is, but that is a cute little birthday thing from Sticker Thief. And Friday is my day off, so I wrote day off. Well, to be fair, I have three days off this week, so that'll be exciting. And I'm going to the dentist on Friday. Um, I hadn't been in three years, and I went to the dentist at the uni, and it was only like 30 bucks for a checkup and 30 bucks for a clean. And no new fillings, so that's exciting. I must be taking good care of my teeth. I do definitely need to get on the flossing bandwagon, so... I don't know if I write it on the video, but one of my habits this week is to floss my teeth. The other habits will be take my vitamins and exercise. To be fair, it's not just vitamins that I want to keep track of. I'm going back on the pill. I, I'm i getting a little bit of acne um, this year in particular right around my, my mouth. And I went to my GP and I was at the start of the year I was going to do the marina, but... 
I just didn't get around to it and so now I'm like oh I'll go on the pill now and he suggested Estelle and apparently that's quite good for acne so fingers crossed I had great skin as a kid and as soon as I turn like 20, 21, it's like, bam, you have oily skin, you have acne, you have scarring. And I'm like, oh God. But I'm in a good face care routine. I've got a good cleanser. And one of the things that I wanted to see if you guys wanted to hear about is a new face mask. I absolutely love the L'Oreal. I think it's L'Oreal. And it's like one of those clay masks. It's the blue one. Holy shit. It is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Today's Sunday and I will be using it, having some self-care sesh Sunday to put it on my face and hopefully it will clear up my skin even more. Another thing I really like for my skin is Body Shop. Um, it's the seaweed moisturizer and it's like the oil free and it's so good. I've tried other ones and other moisturizers just make my skin feel really heavy and kind of makes me sweat. Whereas this one, it's just amazing. It's a little bit expensive for what I believe you should pay for a face cream, but it's the only one that works, and so I don't mind paying a little bit extra for that. I have been putting down these fitness challenges, but the last two weeks I've done jack shit, so <laughs> maybe I'm just putting them down for the sake of putting them down, but I do need to. Every video you guys are probably sick of me saying, get on the fitness bandwagon, but when you're in that just real shit mental state, you just, you can't motivate yourself. Like, Exercise is the best medicine for your mental health, but if you're not in the right headspace, it's just it's just like banging your head against a brick wall. But maybe I should try something different rather than trying to do the Kayla at Cine's workout. Maybe I'll do the C25K, which for any of you that don't know about the C25K, it's couch to 5K, so you slowly build up from not running at all to being able to run 5Ks in eight weeks. And because I play soccer, well, I'm not today because I'm working, but I play soccer, so that kind of ties in with that. So normally I play soccer on Sundays, but I'm not today because I'm working Saturday, Sunday this week, and then I'll work Monday to Thursday and then have three days off. It's been real fucking hectic at work. So not only is my allied health manager away sick so she's like my supervisor and also the supervisor of the third year student that we've got but the physio that works over at the acute hospital which is where i work on some weekends he's been off sick too so not not only have i been having to cover my manager who's like a grade above me in physio i have to cover the other physio at the other hospital so on wednesday and thursday last week i had to be in both hospitals and like look after the third year student as well and like i graduated last year so it's just a lot of responsibility tomorrow i have to do half in albury half in wodonga as well so that'll be tough but dill says that i can claim the petrol and tax for next year which is good but i just i come home from work and i have no spoonfuls of energy for the rest of the day you guys have heard about the spoon theory i've probably chatted to you guys about it on my channel before but i just come home and i'm fucking knackered not only am i working really hard like mentally but because i'm working and trying to cover two physios that aren't there like i'm running around like a headless truck and like it's all right working in murray valley where i normally work because i'm used to rehab but working in the acute hospital is a different headspace and like I feel like I'm missing stuff. Um, the last couple of days, someone has vomited on me and someone else has fainted. And I'm just like, well, you know, I'm doing the best that I can. And it wasn't my fault that they fainted or vomited, but like they're acutely unwell. And it's just, it's a lot to deal with. So I need to do the face masks. I need to walk the dogs to make myself feel better. And I know that my work is a priority at the moment rather than working out so when I'm feeling down or whatever like I know that I need to prioritize just doing nothing for a little bit do you guys have stressful work or stressful jobs or do you have a nice job that you like or were you at stay-at-home mum full-time fabulous as my mum likes to call it she she's not a stay-at-home mum because like I don't live with her but she trains seeing eye dog puppies 
So she's got Olive at the moment who is so cute. She's a golden retriever and she's passed all of her tests. So they're actually going to breed from her. And oh my lord, every time I see her, she's so sweet. Gives me, like, she, she actually smiles. She's the cutest, sweetest dog. So it'll be amazing when she gets to have puppies. So mum will get to look after her for a couple of years while they breed from her. And then in the meantime, she might like short time foster foster dogs but my mum has uh, bipolar and so having a dog that you know makes her get out of the house and go for walks and, and the responsibility like that's just the best thing for her she's really in tune with her mental health as well so whenever I'm down I can talk to her and that's actually how I knew I was down the first ever time like I'm like mum something's not right and she got me the help that I needed. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but every time I plan, I feel like I'm going more and more non-white space. As you can see, I move my stickers around a fair bit in this spread. I don't know why, I just didn't know where to place things or didn't know where I wanted things to go. I really liked how the flat lays turned out. I hadn't really used flat lays much before in my spreads apart from like the meal prepping ones. But I also have some ones from Wednesday planning coming in the mail, which I'm really, really excited about. And I really, really liked the idea of having cool dad and then having like the radio. I thought that was really clever. I'm pretty happy with myself. And then I just put some deco up the top and this is the rest of the kit. Didn't use the full box checklist at all. And really guys, that's it. That's my mockery Stranger Things plan with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and do you guys like when I just randomly gas bag or do you like it when I say what I'm putting down things like that anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel please come and subscribe and follow me on Instagram thanks so much for watching guys see you in my next video catch ya